Hi, I'm Mallory from Animal Advice, and this video is about poop. So poop is gross, and uh, we don't always want to talk about it, but it's actually really important, and just a couple of small things can really help your cat or dog or any animal that you have um, stay healthy if you just know a couple of things. Um, it doesn't always get talked about as much as it should uh, because it's gross. You know, people people don't like to talk about poop. You don't want to deal with it any more than you have to. But the fact of the matter is it's actually a vital part of keeping your animal healthy is being aware of their bathroom habits, um, how often they go, and whether it's normal or not. And it's not something that you have to go crazy about, but... You know, once in a while, take a gander out in the yard. Hopefully when you're cleaning it up, which is hopefully regularly, because that's an excellent way to prevent parasites from being spread, cleaning up the yard, keeping everything nice and tidy is going to uh, gonna help keep down anything from being able to spread because let's, let's face it, animals are gross, they eat poop. Um, so if there's some out in the yard, they're gonna eat it and whatever might be in that poop, they're gonna get it, you know? So it's gross, but they do it. Um, so picking the yard up regularly is obviously important, but also just you're able to then know about how often your animals go into the bathroom um, and about what the normal consistency is so that if they start having diarrhea, you're going to know pretty, pretty right away and you're going to know for how long. Um, all the time animals come in with, with vomiting um, or diarrhea or constipation and people can't answer the questions that, that uh, we'll ask them at the vet office about how their pet's doing and, and how often they normally go and how long has it been since they've had a normal stool and people don't know. You know, maybe they pick the yard up twice a week or they just don't pay attention. I'm not sure. Um, but it's something that you should pay attention to. And always, always, always bring a stool sample with you to the vets, whether they're sick or they're healthy. Uh, some of the most common parasites that they can get are uh, roundworms, whipworms, hookworms, tapeworms, which they can only get by eating fleas. They have a weird life cycle. Um, so if you have tapeworms in your dog, think about that. It means they've come into contact with a flea. Doesn't mean you have a flea infestation, but it does mean that at some point they ate a flea. Um, so you just want to be aware of that and make sure that you don't have a flea problem. Um, other ones that are not actually worms, but they are protozoans. They are single-celled organisms that are evil and they float around and they cause problems like uh, Giardia. A lot of people have heard of Giardia and Coccidia is another one. Um, so just, uh, just some crazy names for some other parasites that are gonna be bothering your pets potentially. Um, now heartworm, even though it is a worm, that does not live in the GI tract. So a lot of people get confused um, when their dog's on a heartworm prevention um, or, oh, well, I don't need to do that because I just brought my dog's stool sample in and they checked it and they didn't see any parasites, right? So I'm good. It gets a little confusing, um, but heartworms actually live in the bloodstream and that's an entirely different video. But um, all of those things can be treated for. Most of them can be seen on a routine uh, fecal examination. So the poop gets mixed up with some stuff and then it floats around and then it uh, gets looked at under a microscope and it's all kinds of fun and exciting. And With most of these parasites, you can avoid a big issue um, by being preventative by bringing your pet in regularly for wellness exams. Even if they're not sick, it's okay. It's still okay to be checked out um, by the vet, catch things early that way, um, and always bring a stool sample with you so that you can screen for intestinal parasites um, and find them and treat for them before they become a problem. And then you always wanna clean up your yard real often, real regularly. Um, especially if your pet has been diagnosed with an intestinal parasite, they, they're going to be shedding like the worms. Sometimes you'll see adult worms coming out that are a foot long um, if they have a serious in infection and then you give them the medication to kill those worms. Um, the worms then die and come out and a lot of people don't realize that and it would be pretty freaky um, to see your, your cat or dog pooping worms. Um, but it could happen and they could still be moving. It's pretty terrible. Um, 
but they're still going to be potentially passing eggs uh, for a while in the stool. So you want to clean the yard up regularly so that they don't go back out, eat the poop that has the eggs in it, and then reinfest themselves. Because a lot of these dewormers don't stay in the body for months on end, a day or two, and it's out of the dog's system, and they are able to get reinfected. And it unfortunately happens a lot, and it seems like too, in an area, if it's if it's in the area, it just stays in the area. So you've got wild animals, you know, people think, oh, my dog only goes on walks, I never let him, um, he's always on a leash and I never let him get to anything, he never goes around other dogs, there's no way he could have a parasite. Some of these things live in the water. Um, we see a ton of, of insurgents of like Giardia and other, other parasites that like water in the springtime because of all the rain and it's all in the soil and it's just sitting there and then the rain comes in and it floods and it brings all of these parasites to the top and the dogs like go outside and walk through it and lick their feet off or they drink from a puddle or they eat some grass or eat something on the ground that has it um, or they eat some rabbit poop or they eat some bird poop you know all of these parasites are are very uh what's the word opportunistic they're very opportunistic and so they do everything they can to survive so they're going to be being spread by rabbits and squirrels and uh, birds and lots of other animals um, so you can't keep nature out of your yard entirely um, and so it's just it's just a fact of life so being real preventative about it um, is gonna keep your pet from getting any real serious problems that are related to intestinal parasites um, I hope this video helped you learn a little bit about your pet's poop and why it's important. Um, and if there's something I didn't cover, feel free to send a message to my page or uh, comment down, down below and uh, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.